टेक्नोलॉजी ना जब भी आती है तो लोग ही फट जाती है भारत के युवा पढ़ाई के साथ ही स्किल में भी उतने ही दक्ष हो हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू स्किल रैप्टर एंड आई एम योर होस्ट अथर्व टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ टू मेक अ सिंपल एक्सेल शीट कैलकुलेटर फॉर अ शेल एंड ट्यूब हिट एक्सेंजर बिफोर आई मूव अहेड आई वुड लाइक टू रिक्वेस्ट यू टू काइंडली लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब एंड ऑल्सो कमेंट ऑन माई वीडियो एंड प्लीज डू कमेंट विथ योर ईमेल आई डी सो दैट इन द एंड आई विल बी शेयरिंग विथ दिस एक्सेल शीट विथ यू द ओनली प्राइस for this excel sheet is to subscribe my channel and to comment on it so it's totally free so let's start so you can see on the screen this is a simple uh, process calculation sheet for shell and tube heat exchanger where we can calculate pressure drop and fouling factor note that uh, the green values are the ones where you have to enter you have to give input so that the program will be able to calculate let me go on the top now as you know that uh, shell and tube heat exchanger has got two parts one is shell side and one is tube side so accordingly the bifurcation is made in this sheet so let's see one by one what all values we need to enter so first is shell side uh, now say uh, your service fluid which is on shell side is a thermic fluid so it can be any xyz fluid now inlet shell side temperature so in the green boxes you have to inlet all the values so just like i have entered 260 enter shell side outlet temperature it is 220 similarly you will have to inlet all the material properties of that particular fluid which you which is on the shell side here are different properties which are given like density of the shell then heat capacity then viscosity of the shell side fluid and most importantly you will have to enter shell id that is internal diameter of shell id now there are certain standard diameters so for that i have given a sheet that is sheet number 3 so you can see on in the blue there are certain uh, diameters which are given these are shell inner diameters of shell 8 inches 10 inches 12 13.25 15.25 and so on so you have to select accordingly let me go back to where we started yeah so say now you enter 15.25 so this is a direct formula which will actually calculate it in meter also so the formula is given then baffle spacing the baffle spacing i have given 0.2 you you can change it as per your requirement then tube clearance tube clearance is 0.24 which is standard 0.0061 meter so this is all about shell side now next is tube side now similarly as we did in shell side the there is a liquid on tube side as well so here there is a carbon hydrocarbon oil which needs to be which is a which is a colder liquid by the way so you can see that the outside temperature of this uh, tube side hydrocarbon oil is 170 so the temperature is is being risen so it is being heated From 20 to 170 degrees. Similarly, you have to enter the flow rate. So, what is the flow rate of the tube side which you want to pass? Now, uh, after you enter all these properties, say density, then heat capacity, viscosity, and also thermal conductivity, all these are standard values which you can find easily on net. Whatever your fluid is, you can you have to just search on the Google and enter the values. a tube tube side od now enter outside diameter that is in inch so that is 0.75 these are also by the way standard values so you need to be uh, careful while uh, entering these values uh, then uh, tube side id so enter tube id then tube length i have given it uh, 2 meter for now yeah, you can make it 3 4 as you wish tube pitch now uh, now this is a standard value of uh, tube pitch you can just give one one uh, one meter uh, and also you can check here i have uh, given uh, here so if say if it's a triangular tube then the pitch 
so this is the pitch pt so you can see it is 0 0.0254 so these are the standard values of uh, tube pitch which you can select so general standard value is 0 0.0254 that is also one inch so zero so when you enter one inch as a tube pitch it will convert it into the meter so 0 0.0254 now overall heat transfer coefficient so you will have to give a guess value for overall heat transfer coefficient so some of the guess values i have uh, recorded here so uh, this can be used as a guess kind of so you can see light oils and water or uh, or some dowtham heavy oils so what is the guess what is the range of overall heat transfer coefficient so you can just write this uh, number here also you can search it on net if you want to do that so overall heat transfer coefficient which is ud is uh, given that is uh, 350 in this case now our next is selected pass so how many times you want our fluid to pass so it is either two pass four pass six pass eight pass like that so for timing i am giving four now let's say what all things it is calculating so this is all what will be given as an input Till now whatever we have discussed next will be what it will be calculating now you can see temperature difference it has calculated 290 then lmtd if you double click on this uh, the formula is given here and also in uh, the middle row the formulas are actually given so so this is a very good advantage of this sheet that you can actually cross check the formulas which is given in the middle row which is standard formula along with the excel formula which is being so it is a good self-learning sheet as well similarly it is going to calculate all the values now so you can see uh, the area is calculated so how much area will be required the number of tubes will also be calculated by this so these are the number of tubes so 232 tubes are calculated and similarly there are other things which uh, important things uh, like uh, equivalent shell diameter so this is also a calculation By the way, uh, just one thing to remember, uh, the equivalent shell diameter formula here, LP square into 0 0.866 uh, minus pi by 4 dt 0 d o d square. Uh, the whole formula, this formula actually refers to a triangular pitch. So I have given some standard formulas here in sheet 4 on bottom side. So let me just show you. Okay. So you can see a triangular pitch. This is a triangular pitch formula, uh, which can be converted into the formula which is given. So if you are working with a square pitch, then you will have to change the formula accordingly. So this is a triangular pitch formula. Okay. And similarly, you can see this uh, sheet easily calculates uh, shell side allowable delta p and uh, tube side allowable delta p, and also the area required. So area of cleaning then fouling factor is calculated and you can play with this sheet and uh, cross check your calculations. It is also good to use. Uh, remember that uh, this sheet is uh, useful for the budgetary calculations of uh, shell into heat exchanger, but it is always desirable to once again repeat these calculation and check it in a standard software. So uh, with this, uh, I would like to end this video and uh, before I and uh, let me just remind you that this sheet is free of cost only charges you will have to comment with your email id and subscribe to my channel and i will be sharing this sheet with you on your email thank you very much